Welcome back to Chase Field, where Zach Godley has come a long way from the log cabin he grew up in in Bamberg, South Carolina, to today, making his major league dreams come true. And I'm joined by his parents, Tommy and Kelly. And Tommy, a lot was going on with Zach's rotation this week as the Diamondbacks geared him up to make the start here. What was it like from your perspective, and when did you find out the big news? We found out the news um, yesterday at uh, 7, 7 o'clock. 7 a.m. But uh, he called me, and I, I, we knew something was going on from Mobile because of him not starting. And uh, when he called me, he says, got some news. I said, boy, if you tell me that they sending you back down, I said, I, I said, we're going to have to hurt somebody. No, Daddy, I'm going, to, I'm going to pitch against the Brewers tomorrow night. And then that's when I told him, I says, how in the world, I'm going to make plans to go to Phoenix <laughs> in one day. But we did. We're here and we couldn't be prouder of it. Yeah. We've worked real, real hard. Yeah, it's an amazing moment I know for the whole family right now. Mom, what's it mean to you to see your son out there achieving his dreams? You've watched this since he was four. Four. I mean T ball. Never dreaming anything like this would happen. It's awesome. I can't even put it in words. Now, I talked to him before the game, and he was rather calm. What about you guys? Oh, hell no. no. We're not calm. I'm not calm. I didn't mean to say a bad word. I'm sorry. Just beat that out. No, I'm calm. I'm not calm. No, we're, it's, it's we very nerve-wracking nerve here. Yeah. It's not been since, you know, when he was in college. Uh, you know, 1A, 2A. It's not been that It is here. Tomas has given Zach Godley a lead, his sixth home run. He takes Fires out of here, and it's 1 0. I mean, we got a big family, but we don't have a lot. We've worked hard for everything we've got. And our biggest objective all of our life is for our three boys to have a better life than what we had. We want it to be easier for them than what it's been for us. My husband works every day, and he works his butt off. And we want it easier for these boys. Well, then I imagine when you see your son out there on the mound, so many things are going through your mind. Years and years of work before he was even Yesterday. I cried all day long yesterday. I called Autumn, his fiance, and we were boohooing on the phone. I mean, you know, we were both crying. Why, did, why does your son deserve this moment after all these years of hard work? He's supposed to be playing football, honey. He's supposed to be playing baseball. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's part of your dream, you know. It's part of his dream. You know, just, you know, just to, just to make it, you know. I mean, his faith, you know? his faith. His pastor, he called the church last night during prayer meeting, and he said, "Preach, Sean." And Sean said, "Yeah." And he said, "You say a prayer with me for tomorrow." And he said, wait a minute, Zach, and he put him on the speakerphone, and the whole congregation prayed for Zach, prayed for him to have peace when he was on that field tonight. Well, he's looking calm out there, and uh, talking to you guys is bringing the D-backs back some good luck, so thank you for joining us, and uh, enjoy the game. Congratulations. Well, speak out that bad word. I didn't mean to say it. The preacher be preaching on that come Sunday. <laughs> I think you're good. They'll just uh, be proud of you for getting your son to the big leagues. <laughs>